everybody, welcome to Gentleman Dog Portrait. I'm Dean. And I'm Mike. And we're here to talk about stuff. Uh, yeah, there there may have been reasons why we didn't do anything last week. We'll talk about that in the sideshow. Is it more of a sideshow or post show? Yeah. I, I don't know. Whatever. It, it, is, it is extra content that you may or may not fill your ears with. So, uh, but... Let's let's get into some stuff. Uh, ground thing. I'm not. I don't. We're not really going to talk about the debates. There's already been some scra- crazy stuff that's happened. Uh, <laughs> do you have any? Do you have any big takeaways from that? Any big takeaways? Did from you the watch debates? it? I think that. No, I did, I was at work. I didn't get to watch it. Yeah. But I. Uh, I just. I think this whole thing with Donald Trump is just showing that uh, politics is entertainment. Yeah, and he's entertaining us. So he's he's capitalizing. People on that are to willing to keep him around. Like he's saying enough things that people are like, yeah, like some people will agree with, mm-hmm. but overall, like you know, I think my main takeaway is uh, we people were excited for Carly Fiorina, and I gotta say now she fucking scares me. <laughs> So there's that. Uh, but we do have something about the debate uh, that we'll get into a little bit later. Top thing, which caught my interest immediately, was this short article based on a video on YouTube uh, from the channel How to Make Everything. And there's this guy. Um, what's, what's his name? Does it like listed here, or does it just? I think you just have to know the channel to know the guy. But yeah, that's terrible journalism right there. Why would you just list his name at least once? <laughs> oh, Andy George. Here we are. Uh, Andy George of How to Make Everything um, spent six months and fifteen hundred dollars to make a sandwich entirely from scratch, and that is that is making the bread himself, making the cheese himself, the butter, gathering the honey, uh, killing the chicken that made the uh, chicken breast in his sandwich. Yep, all of that. And it the the article itself has like a four minute video just kind of like highlighting uh, the the journey that he took, mm-hmm. including actually getting salt from the sea. Wow, mm-hmm. that's that's dedication to the craft. It was. I watched this video, and mm-hmm. it's just a little. You know, he does some like okay when he gets salt from the sea, like okay you could just wade out into the ocean. And get some salt water, and then, like, evaporate out the water and have sea salt. But he, like, flies to a location and rents, like, a boat, and they go out into the sea just for him to dunk, like, a a gallon jug into the ocean. Yeah, actually, now that that you're saying that, I wonder how much of that 1500 was used for airfare and renting It was just such a, like... I'm sure the farmers don't actually care that, okay, you're taking, like... A bucket of milk, that's yeah, like ten bucks. He like Here's milked a chicken the cow, that you get to kill yeah. yourself. Uh, you're saving me like a couple of dollars. It's whatever. Yeah, it, it, I'm sure all that stuff was relatively cheap. Like the 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 six months. Yes, I get. You have to grow everything and then pickle the pickles. That that's kind of an extra step there. That I honestly. Yeah, the growing vegetables though is is not that hard and it's not hard but it takes a long time it just takes time yeah it, but i mean it just happens on its own kind of and then and pickles like i've done pickles i don't know it's it, it, i feel like it was it was interesting and i i get the i i like the idea of like somebody trying to do every aspect of something themselves yeah it does it does show how much we how much stuff we take for granted but at the same time it's like come on that's that's a bit of it's an just, unnecessary step there. it's it's a little arbitrary like, to let's, what let's level of detail here. he takes each thing because like he didn't like incubate an egg and hatch a chick and raise it into a chicken and kill it yeah that's you know I, what i mean not, but like okay, he also all right. he's skipping some steps there but i think he's also adding Shit to make his life, and then little, it's like, well, like, does it, is he gonna? He made, he made a honey wheat bread. Like, he, like what? Like people why? were joking online that he should have, uh, you know, built his own kiln or something for the bread, and like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like started fire from scratch. Like, well, if the if, if the point of it, if the point of the video was to say, like, okay, well, this took me six months to make a, a dish that I enjoyed in ten minutes. 
and that's how far we've come. It's like, well, you could def you definitely could have done a little more, but still, I'm just hung up over the fucking honey wheat bread. He I went and got honey, and then he made the bread with everything with that. I'm like, come on, that's it, just make regular bread. Don't. I feel I I uh, one other thing I noticed yeah, that bread was apparent. There's a there's a other videos, and there's a video of people eating the sandwich who he knows and their reactions and the kids are just like they're rea- they basically think it's horrible <laughs> and they're just, um little kids it, it, but but um he people were saying that the bread that he made doesn't look like it really worked out and that <laughs> it seems like it's probably like a cement heavy like super yeah, grainy thing and they're like, listen, when you bake bread, like you have to like learn. You, you can't just nail it on your first try. Like you have to. It's it's an art. It's yeah, an art. Yeah. Otherwise, anyone could be a baker. Like yeah. how anyone could be like a pastry chef just because you made cookies and cupcakes in your own home, dude. Mm-hmm. But um, if I had to make my own sandwich from scratch, uh, I might. I don't. I don't know. My my go to sandwich, if I am ever tired or just bored. Uh, I get like some turkey breast. I get some American mm-hmm. cheese. I put some ketchup and mustard on it, and then I got the 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 Italian roll, and that's mostly it. Other than a couple of spices, like it's a simple sandwich, yeah, but it's what I do. Mm. What about you? I like I like red onion. I like uh, pickles. I like to slice things so they're flat. Like I won't just you know I don't know. Uh, yeah, I feel like I, I like. I'd have to learn how to make ketchup, which I'm pretty sure is just tomato, sugar, and salt. One of my favorite things for a sandwich is um, to make an aioli, which is just like a... Yeah, it's, it's, it's mayo, it's like some lemon juice. Yeah, a little garlic. A little garlic. You can basically like uh, do the garlic in a pan or something, or just kind of roast it somehow so that when you, you can like mash up the cloves like they're cooked. Mm-hmm. And you just kind of mash those in with the mayonnaise, and the the fat of the mayonnaise absorbs this like garlicky flavor, and the the lemon yeah. juice will cut it a little bit. And you can mix that with pesto and make like a uh, almost a like pesto a pesto aioli. Yeah, pesto aioli spread. Yeah, you could make you could make a lot. Like aioli and is like just the base thing. You could make a ton of shit with it's that. It's so good. Uh, just the way mayonnaise is good on a sandwich. Like I know some people hate mayonnaise, but yeah, mayonnaise it, mayonnaise is just like it's it just. I expect it gives the flavor you that from rich it, and I get kind moist. Of flavor, yeah. And it's I'm like, nice. but <laughs> cue the cue the sentence mixing thing, a sentence sentence mixing of me saying it it just made me moist. <laughs> yeah. I just get moist. <laughs> uh, but um, oh god, that reminds me. Uh, there's this uh, okay, like fifteen minutes, a fifteen minute drive from where I live. There's this place called like the European Fry Republic. And uh, what they do is, they, it, it's like a small little deli. They mostly sem- uh, specialize in, like, the fries. But the big thing is they have, like, a whole variety of sauces. They got, like, 30 different sauces. Hmm. So whenever I went with my family, dumb them, they just went for the fries. And I was I was like that, too, until I realized, you know what? Someone had to have liked these. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, they never would have, like, sold them in the first place or made them. So they had like a smoked salmon sauce. They made like a peanut butter sauce, jalapeno cheddar. Wow! And I like I got them to try it too. I'm like, hey, is this the smoked salmon? Oh, I guess that's not bad. <laughs> but like, imagine just like taking that to a whole nother level. Get like you know how like some Italian ice places have like fifty different flavors. Yes. Get like a fry place with like seventy different sauces. <laughs> you know. That's crazy. Just keep making new recipes, friggin' sell them by, like, the, the little uh, half pints. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's still Cause, the, yeah, cause, it's the little things about a sandwich that make it, uh... Like, yeah, the sauce like, is just You one... don't think about the sauce. You don't think about the sauce that you're putting on that. Mm-hmm. Like, just the mayo... People just have mayo, right? They just, just have, have, like, mayo. ketchup. And There's it, so... I mean, you, you can just go out there and buy flavored mayonnaise, like, with different stuff in it. Yeah, you can. You can. I, I like a chipotle this, mayo or something. But this sandwich, I'm I'm surprised. Um, you know, you know that whole saying like the more you work for some, the more you work for something, the more you enjoy it. You would yeah. think he would be like a little more grateful. Like, 
Dude, this was six months. I mean, like, it, oh. it's not it's not yeah. bad. <laughs> it probably wasn't that good. <laughs> no, it probably wasn't. Like, he had a... He had a... Plus, you know when you get chicken like that? I don't know. If don't, it's if it's like a, know, on a small know, farm, like like the chicken, like a non factory chicken, will have like a flavor to it, like a more of a gamey flavor because it's been eating other stuff. I guess so. But even then, it's like it's it's still just it's chicken. I'm yeah. glad he like went the whole way and like killed the chicken himself and like uh, plucked it and then did did he drain it? I don't know. I don't know. Forget the whole video by now. Um, but. Yeah, I wonder how much of that salt and did he gather up other spices to like season the chicken with? Because that's the big thing. There's no small component to a sandwich. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, that should be like the tagline. That should be like the moral of Sandwich Quest, a game that will never be. <laughs> there's a there's a, uh, a quote by um, what's his name? Abraham uh, Lincoln. No, the guy who's uh, Wayne Gretzky. The science guy that uh, Bill Nye. No, the, he's not alive anymore. Um, oh, Carl oh. Sagan. Yeah, Carl I think. Sagan. Yeah. Is it from what, him? To, oh, it's yeah, like oh, to, to, to is it about an apple pie? Yeah, you know. Yeah, to 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 make an apple pie from scratch, you must first invent the universe. Yeah, so that's basically uh, to make a sandwich, you know. Yeah, to make a sandwich from scratch, you gotta. You gotta... Although, if if people said that before before this video and like I'm gonna make a sandwich from scratch okay alright you you do you <laughs> cause it, it, you're making the whole component you're like putting the whole components together of course it's from scratch what are you kidding well there's just different levels of from scratch I guess yeah but, but I think there's, there's an agreed like, upon kind of like common there. sense one which is like yeah like you, these are ingredients that your everybody usually buys and like doesn't you don't usually make flour you know yeah well it's like I think when people like do baking from scratch they basically mean like you know not from a pre-made recipe mm-hmm. or like those those uh, little wads of cookie dough that they sell in like supermarkets yeah I'm making cookies from scratch okay well show me to your sugar cane plantation <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah no like if you yeah you're like you're measuring out different ingredients that you're putting together that didn't come from like a, a box where they were packaged together in pre-measured pouches or something yeah the, uh, know, but... there's a woman there was a woman that uh, confessed online on reddit that she owns a baking company like a uh, bake. I think I remember seeing that. Yeah, and and she, she basically. I think she like, like decorates cakes for people, but the cakes she makes are, are all like, like box cakes. Yeah. They're all store bought. Yeah, just like whatever it is, like Duncan Hines cake or something, and then she just decorates it. But everybody tells her how moist her cake is and how much better it is than like the store cake, <laughs> like the <laughs> like the store bought boxes. Oh god, that is just that's weird. That's mm-hmm. weird. And you know what? I probably would make like the same kind of. Uh, Shortcuts if I owned a business, but I would, I definitely wouldn't admit, <laughs> even if it was like anonymously online. Yeah, I don't know why she would, I don't know. Maybe it was like the guilt was eating away at yeah. her, and people were like, oh my god, you're so great, you're so much better, and like, Ugh. I guess it's just kind of, yeah, it's not like she's really doing a bad thing, like she's never claiming that it's not that, it's just, yeah, it's she's kinda selling like, cake. <laughs> it's kind of like how, um, I probably would. Um, I probably would lie to some customers and be like, "Yeah, this is gluten free. Yeah, this is organic." And like, I don't, I don't fucking know. It's a piece of beef. I don't know. <laughs> that's I don't why know, I would, that's why I wouldn't own a, a store like that. Although I have talked about opening a board game cafe because that shit is awesome. Mm-hmm. There's one I, that was right near uh, where I, w- I was seeing that girl in the city. There's a yeah, it's called the Uncommons, right? Yeah, I've passed it by many times, and it's yeah, interesting. I've, I've been inside. Uh, I went there about a month ago, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, no, no, it was a few weeks. Um, and, yeah, I just went in with a group of, like, seven people. We played a couple of games. Uh, yeah, we should we should totally uh, do something, dude. Yeah. Although, whatever, whatever, we'll see. I have my own games. Uh, okay, so, on the on the subject of... Making things from scratch and making your own flour. It was actually discovered uh, in a uh, cave, the Grotta 
uh, Baglici in southern Italy that paleo people were making flour 32,000 years ago. So for those that uh, may may have been fortunate enough to avoid this whole talk of fad diets, uh, the paleo diet is when you kind of emulate the diet of the uh, early cavemen, uh, Australopithecus, uh, early on, where you basically just kind of eat uh, meat, nuts, and berries. Like if it was if it was able to be farmed, you did not eat that. You cannot eat well, that. You you can eat a uh, what do you call it? It's basically a grain-free diet, mostly, because... Yeah, uh, yeah, there's... Yeah, like, you can eat, like, uh, leafy greens and stuff, and, uh... Yeah. Well, because that, that, poten- that had the potential to be found in the wild, but... Um, yeah, like, like ready-to-eat thing. Like, fruit and vegetables are pretty much ready-to-eat, and, and, uh, meat... It's, like, unprocessed, so there's not, like... Like, yeah. grains, like, you, you know, there's this whole... There's a, there's a big conspiracy about grains right now, because, uh, we... We shouldn't. It, it's unnatural for us, apparently, to eat that kind of stuff. Same with sugars. Like we shouldn't uh, have made a whole industry farming <laughs> it and putting it in a lot of things. It's very um, good tasting. But this it, was this was based in, uh, this was based on like historical science, I guess. Yeah, like like you're you you were never meant to. I guess the idea was you, they're saying you were never meant to. You know, take this one part of this plant, uh, these little you know. Whatever it is, the the grains and like, you were never meant to collect all these grains from all these plants and mash them up and like extract the that kind of yeah basically energy from that kind of food source like that was well never... I, th- I I think it's I, yeah we're probably butchering this entirely we probably said the right answer and now we're just kind of like spitballing now but I think it was no but because... I'm saying I think what what paleo I think their their whole like theory is like this is something we, you would normally naturally be introduced to in the in the world and so like you should probably not be trying eat to that, eat it yeah well cuz i think i think like uh the uh earliest forms of humans were nomadic yeah. so since they didn't since they didn't stop and uh harvest grain and sugar and shit like we shouldn't be doing that we have but the it's same just, biological it's just makeup. very i don't know i mean but then there's this shit. There's yeah. this shit that comes around, and they discovered an ancient stone in that cave, and it was bas- It's basically like a smooth stone that they use as like a pestle grinder. Mm-hmm. So it, it's it's like smooth on one part. You like crush up the grain bits, and you make a flour. And they made and the, apparently they did that because the dry flour was easier to carry and didn't spoil. And yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I mean, that, to me, I think it's like... Well, well, they make like an oatmeal out of it. it. No, no, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think like the argument that, well, since we weren't... Uh, you know, like the, this is... Where the reason we're able to eat this is because of technology and stuff that we've acquired, like an agriculture knowledge, and like this isn't really naturally how we're yeah. supposed to be. Like, I don't know, because it, it's just very... Like people aren't supposed to be drinking milk, like. <laughs> well, that that of course no one. I don't know how anyone like figured that out. Maybe it was because like the mothers fed, and then it just looked similar. Oh, to drink cow's milk. Yeah, to drink well, cow's milk. Or I don't goat's know. milk or whatever. Like it just kind of seemed, uh, too similar to like a woman's breast. It's like oh, well, maybe maybe you probably just see her. cows drinking it and are hungry, and you want to drink it too or something. Maybe I don't know. No it's idea. not bad. I like milk. It's yeah, just I like milk too. But like there's I like cheese, dude. There's different. Um, oh yeah, that's a big thing with the diet. No, no milk, no dairy, no cheese. There's a there's people with different genetic makeups, and depending on where you're from, if you're from a place where there was cattle and stuff, like the like you can digest milk better. Than other people from these other places, yeah. Because you like, uh, you know, I don't know. You hung on to that, or you uh, express those genes, or something, or you're you're just slightly different in that way. Uh, there was an advantage for you to be able to digest milk. I guess so. I don't know. Well, I mean, I'm sure early in, in those so early like, days there weren't any like uh, lactose intolerant people. Yeah, I don't know, but I'm I'm just saying like, so it's got to be like. Um, I don't know. 
Yeah, I'm not. But <laughs> this this just shoots a hole in some people's arguments now. Yeah, like I, I feel like since this is so long they certainly, ago, they certainly weren't advanced enough to make bread or some shit. Like, but. like, but it's so long ago that there that flour is is being a thing that probably people have developed some kind of you know tolerance to eating it or something or some kind of ability to make. You know that it's not so. Uh, it's not such a foreign thing for our bodies that as they want you to yeah. imagine. Well, it's it's not. Yeah, it's not un- as uncommon anymore. But you know what? This this thought like, okay, what what is bread? It's it's uh, flour. It's water. There's yeast. Yeah. Is there anything else that comes with it? Uh, salt, sugar. Because uh, uh. I know uh, I was I was browsing Reddit in passing at work. Uh, yesterday, and I found out, uh, like, there's a, uh, there's a Bavarian law that said beer had to be made with barley, hops, and water, and that was it. Mm -hmm. And they found out, oh, it tasted better because they kept using the same paddles, and the paddles were discovered to have yeast in it. (laughs) Otherwise, it just kind of, like, tasted meh before. But, yeah, no, seriously... We discovered yeast. Holy shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, the yeast makes it uh, carbonated, though. No? Yeah, yeast makes it carbonated. Yeast makes uh, bread rise. Otherwise, you don't get... Otherwise, you get matzah, basically. Which matzah is not bad. It's pretty interesting. I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's just so crazy that it's like a small organism that you're working into the food and then killing. And just it's just there when and you And then it, it just makes things airy. We're killing something because it puts air in shit. Yeah, it's just... It's such a strange concept. I don't know. And, and like, the dead yeast is just in your bread, and you just eat it. Yeah. Wow. That's... (laughs) Ugh. And have there been any any other uh, microorganisms like that? Um... I mean, well, well, a lot of different things produce... I guess they use it primarily for medicine, like, you know, with penicillin, right? Like, you can get... Like, Irish soda bread uses... Or, or baking... So, what is it? Baking powder. Yeah. That stuff uses the chemical reaction that makes gas to... Makes no, stuff no, no, I'm not, I'm not talking about, like, putting, putting carbonation and shit. I mean, yeah. like, yeast is, like, the unsung hero... That it's it's a oh, microorganism. Oh, is there other stuff that we you know we use uh, bacteria on cheese or mold on cheese? Yeah, no, that yeah that I get. I think does and that it can flavor the cheese differently and yeah, you know, I get to have a moldy cheese. cheese. Yeah, I don't. Moldy yeah, cheese. I'm not so keen that's, on that. That's idea. kind of a world. That's kind of a world. I'm not. Oh, uh, especially when they're like, oh, it's very runny and like. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, really? It sounds you like, like it went bad. Oh, the big thing, the big thing, though, why I, I don't think I would be a good fit for the cheese world. Like, I love I love my American cheese, I love my Jack mm-hmm. Cheddar and, uh, uh, Colby and fucking uh, Gouda, but Brie, which a lot of people like, I cannot, I, I just can't. Can't do it either. I can't do Brie. I don't do it. Yeah, like, you, you, won't every time it. I've had brie, it's just kind of like this tastes like plastic. People it like this has a specific smell. I'm not really keen on. And I'm like, do you eat the rind? Do you not eat the rind? Well, if you're a true appreciator, you'll appreciate the rind. I'm like, yeah. Mm. That's like eating the wax on gouda. Why would you? Why would you do that? <laughs> well, it's not exactly. No, it's. I know it's not exactly like that. But come on, <laughs> rind. Oh, like an orange. <sighs> That's why. Uh, that's why I thought I would like get into cheese, and now I just I couldn't. There's lots of different. I'm, there's a. Uh, I think. Stuff... And I still don't agree that Swiss is a good cheese. I don't. I can't get over that. It With has Swiss, a d- yeah. different flavor. It's an acquired. You know. It's it's, it's a. It's yeah, an acquired taste. It's not an immediately lovable flavor. I was in a I was in a sandwich shop uh, when I was in Puerto Rico this one time, and yeah. the only the only sandwich uh, that had. American cheese was the one that had tuna, and everything else had Swiss cheese. And I'm like, really? Can't you just put the American cheese with... Why? why? <laughs> and why tuna specifically? Mm. Eh. Needless to say, I did not eat there. 
Or if I did um, and I'm forgetting it, then it must have been an experience to forget. I like a nice pepper jack cheese. Oh, pepper jack is awesome. Mm. Whew. You know, now I'm, th- I'm thinking about cheese stuff right now. I was thinking about getting uh, Taco Bell for lunch, but I might just actually make myself a sandwich. Man, all this talk of sandwiches is making me hungry for one. <laughs> Shit. Okay, uh, oh, wow. where where should we go after this? Where should we go? Not not this show, but like, where should we? We got four articles. Four articles. So mm. what what captures your interest? Let's see, what captures my interest? Um. Hmm. You were paying attention to the Cortana thing. Yeah, I was. I That's what I'm looking at right now. Yeah, okay. for sure. Uh. Any experience with uh, Windows 10? No, I don't. No. I, have, I have a Mac. Yeah, you you have Mac stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, to... I stand by what I said on uh, this one status that I made. Um, there are too many Steve Jobs biopics now. Like, they're making the, the I other one now. I think it's way over-exaggerated. His, uh... He... The way that they, like, pushed him into this, like, demigod role of, like, Oh, he's the innovator. He brought us into the future. No, you people yeah, just keep super buying his person. shit. Like, I just it's not severely... like the Walden family is like the savior of American economies because they sell stuff cheaply. No, no one's worshipping them. But Steve Jobs? But, like, all his stuff was... Like, Apple wasn't, like, this, like, grand company, you know what I mean? For such it a long yeah. time. And then because... Well, because they were the first ones to make the portable music player that wasn't a Walkman. Yeah. I remember like, those commercials, and yeah, I, I guess people just ate that shit up. I mean, it was nice, though. It, it was just in a world where CDs were what you had, you know what I mean? And it, yeah. it was this thing like, hey, like, remember when I used to have to carry around this binder full of CDs in my car? Like, now oh, I just I have this one, like, wallet sized thing that holds all my music and it doesn't skip. Look, I can shake it. Like, that was, like, a big deal, you know what I mean? It fucking was. I remember, uh, it wasn't, we, it didn't we even have big a, on, much of a screen, my first one. We were big one. on Walkmans in my family, uh, and, like, the big thing was, like, oh, it has 30 seconds and no skip. Awesome. Yeah. Now, looking back on that, I'm like, 30 seconds, no skip? Why, why would anyone fucking... Well, right. because if you were in a car and you went over, like, one bump, or, like, every little knock would make it... But even if you had, like, a CD player and you, like, ran to that and you were, you know, in the 90s and you had, like, yeah. those neon shorts, um, 30 seconds of skip isn't going to get you too much. Eh, well, it's not, it, it just has to be hard enough to, I don't know, it it worked out pretty good unless you really banged it around and then... I don't know, I, I, I wasn't a running guy and yet I put that thing through its paces. Like walking like, my dog or something, rollerblading, it's pretty smooth. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had to get back in time for uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> How many '90s cliches can we run through? Oh my God, there were Nicktoons during that time. Yeah, a lot of things. I had were a Rugrat shirt while I was walking my dog. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, no. Well, okay, so Windows Windows 10 now for some reason is competing with Apple. Uh, so that's that's a whole thing. But now. This is the latest thing I've seen from it ever since people were complaining about the whole security thing. The major major thing was like their answer to Siri, which was Cortana. And that's kind of like a virtual assistant. You, mm-hmm. you use voice activation, it searches for you, uh, and it basically makes your computer like a giant, I, I guess, iPad, really? Where it mm-hmm. searches for you and like it gets the answers for you. So, well, I mean, Android had that same thing with OK Google, which yeah. I guess worked out fine. It's uh, it's a yeah. you know a, a voice activated, uh, and that's the thing, voice activated shit. Like I've been saying this from the beginning, we are not, it's not perfect yet, and I don't think it's like ready enough for people to like fully latch onto it. Mm-hmm. So people all talk very differently, and it's more of a complex problem than you imagine to. Have a yep. system that can recognize what you're saying. Exactly, because like, well, especially if you have an accent, like, which is what. Um, I feel. Excuse me, seriously. Well, it's okay. Uh, yeah. The CEO of uh, my, Windows. Yeah, he definitely has a. He has an accent, accent. Uh, Satya Nadella, and he uh, had a uh, at a California conference. He tried showing off Cortana, and he said this one phrase: "Show me my most at-risk opportunities." 
kind of a kind of a big uh, big demand for a computer that is like doing voice recognition. Why am I hearing? Yeah, it's coming from your end. <laughs> I'll let the tenant have fun, you know. God, I can freaking feel it from here. Yeah. It's kind of the scary part. But um, no um, personal assistance and voice recognition. I'm just I'm not entirely sold on it yet. The the thing is at risk is not it's a stri- it's a hyphenated kind of thing word. It's a weird phrasing, you know what I mean? I, I guess, I guess, but even then I think like it should be able to pick up on words, you know what I mean? Or at risk, two separate words. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, eh, I think that the, uh... The, uh... I just, I think Windows 10 is, like, important, and people are going to use it, and people are talking about problems with it because they're using it, you know what I mean? And they're going to, they want it to be better. I don't know. Yeah, no, we're, I guess, in a way, we're kind of like the live beta testers of, uh, of Windows 10, which I guess would ring true if Windows 10, if it wasn't already, like, extensively tested and people already did, like, a private beta of it. But, I don't know, if someone, if someone held a gun to my head and said, show me my most at-risk opportunities, I'd, I'd, I'd even took, like, schooling in that, well, some of it anyway, that's more financials than what I'd be doing, but I I still wouldn't know where to start. Although, I, I guess this is kind of assuming that um, someone who might ask that would already have, like, an E-Trade account or, you know, something, go, like, a, some live feed of the stock market. Okay. Uh, yeah, but uh, it seems like a very complicated thing to ask. At least, first off, for a tech demonstration, you know what I mean? It's, uh... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know either. I don't ask that much of, like, computer assistance. Don't trust them. Don't trust them. Uh, too much information on me <laughs> and all of that. Just grab my little tinfoil hat. I don't know. I would have picked a different phrase. I guess so. Maybe show me where the nearest Seven Eleven is might be a little more, I, I guess, easier. Like, if it didn't work two times, I would not try it a third time. I would just say a different uh, yeah. Common sense thing. Takes. I'd be like, you know what, well, why don't we try this for, for another example, like... I don't know, but he does have an accent, so it's kind of like, I don't feel... It doesn't work in a story. I don't know, and if the voice recognition isn't, like, the most accurate right away, I don't think it's something that's gonna... I mean, I understand, it's funny, and it's, like, kind of a gaffe, like, he's definitely... Yeah, well, he didn't seem, like, you know, ridiculously upset by it, he didn't storm off and say this whole thing was a waste of time. Might be a little more Montana Max than, uh, CEO of Microsoft. Yeah, pretty much, I guess. I guess they're trying to sell the fantasy of, like, just having... An all-in-one assistant? You know, yeah. Yeah, like, having everything. You, you can just say, like, hey, what's, it gonna, what's the weather going to be like tomorrow? And But but to a more advanced degree, like, show it, like, it just knows you're talking about stocks, I guess. Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, no, but uh, it, it's like uh, the golden sequence thing, I think that's what it's called, where they had, like, uh, <laughs> an incomplete tech demo... And yeah. basically just showed off uh, the crappy like first stage of the product, but it makes it look like it's like fully functional. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, they, they just like it won't work unless uh, the ML won't work unless you open YouTube. First. It's an in- it's interesting because you can if you're able to custom build your own um, kind of like if I if I say this trigger th- this sequence to happen, you know. Uh, well, uh, if you can make your own custom kind of macros, at least like macros, you can like program them yourself, and like it does exactly what it's intended. This is just like buggy craftsmanship to begin with. Like uh, like I was saying before, like you won't be able to text message while you have like <laughs> mail up. You know what I mean? It's 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 like a way for them to convince everybody else that your product, which is only like a week old, and you basically programmed <laughs> yeah. it in your basement, like it, it, oh, it works. You it definitely works. Probably. Think about it. how old is your computer? Yeah, uh, it's it's. This is only a few months old. It's oh, fucking sucks. I swear this to God. is this is. I've already complained about it too before, but like, <sighs> shit. I um, like it, there are sometimes when I was just like 
randomly click to the corner or like when the touch screen is on which it's not right now it's it, it like randomly clicks in one spot only and sometimes the keyboard doesn't work and it's a few months That's <laughs> good. The, I was I uh yeah what uh, oh, the, come on, man. kind of linking back to the um Microsoft thing with the voice activation and where it's like triggering like a, a sequence there's this uh, site called IFTT IFTTT what? if this then that oh I, like logic like uh, if yeah, this if, then this, that so if okay, TTT if TTT yeah. and um, okay so okay. what this does is you got me yeah it links two services together or various services together for you and you can create relationships so like you can say okay if I post a picture to Instagram uh, I want it yeah or like save it to Dropbox automatically or like email it to me it's it's really cool because it, one thing like you can do, uh, connect it what they do is they they get the API I guess for like you know they basically get get the the ability to communicate with different programs like Instagram will like allow the people at IFTTT to like integrate with them and then so they do this with a bunch of companies so they have these uh, companies that make like lights like like Google Nest or whatever like thermostat and lights and oh, blinds like yeah. in a smart house where you can control all that stuff from your computer Which and so scary. whatever company you know makes all that stuff IFTTT integrates with them and then you can say okay when the temperature goes below this outside like uh I start my car defroster at this time or something Ooh. if the if the temperature over or like what I, like if the temperature calls for this or uh if the i forget what it, it's so crazy so much crazy stuff it's so crazy yeah you can i'm trying i'm like I mean, uh, totally honest, uh, on that last note, I, I, I you know what? Uh, as, as convenient as things are, when you when you get like uh, everything linked up together, I have to try to. Uh... No, figure figure that out on your own time, man. Showtime now, but like when, once you get like yeah. things hooked up to like fucking external shit, like cars and crap, that's when I think the singularity is going to like <laughs> kick all of our collective asses. Yeah. Think about it. Start your I mean, car. What if there's a I bug? I think as long. As... I don't know. I I think it's. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to find some of these like really cool recipes they had. And... Uh, well, you're already you're already horrifying me with your <laughs> oh hypothetical God. right now. So I don't know how much oh, more damage man. you can do. All these are like online ones. There's some the real world ones are so cool. I forget what they are. Though. And horrifying. Sticking these to are it. all like tweet to Tumblr, text tweet to, to Tumblr, Facebook, text to Facebook, <laughs> voicemail to Facebook. That's boring, I guess. No, but, uh, at, at least, like, you know, I finally put push bullet on my device. Like, now I get push notifications from uh -huh. my phone and, uh, to my laptop, which I'm usually on and not checking my phone. And that's Bluetooth technology! We already had that shit! So, I... <laughs> I'm, I'm, like, playing catch-up I, here. Uh, I, uh... With my iPhone, um, I can just text people from my computer, like, Exactly. Anytime. It's, it's, it's the future. Duplicated there, yeah. It's the future now, which we had the technology for ten years ago, I guess. So, it's very nice. Yeah. Uh, and, and the weird thing is I consider myself a tech geek, or at least a tech uh, advocate, I guess. <laughs> like, yeah. And I'm just playing it's with this. better game. now, though. Yeah. But uh, how about, how about, how about some more news? It's how about, much uh, better. I how about know. this one where... Then it was that uh, anyway. Yeah, all right. Um, well, how about yeah. this one? Uh, guy from Pittsburgh uh, stabs himself <laughs> opening up uh, a <laughs> straight talk wireless phone in a Walmart and uh, tries to escape and friggin' gets caught by police. Straight talk wireless. I feel like this is like a who who would who gets straight talk wireless? Like somebody that uh, Walmart shop. Is it just one. like a? Yeah, yeah, it's it, it's an affordable <laughs> one, I guess. Yeah, is no, but is Straight Talk Wireless like one of those things? Like, there's no hidden fees. There's it's twenty dollars. It's like no commitment. You don't have to buy into a plan or anything. Is I, this what Straight Talk is? I guess. Like no. 
I, I don't know too much about it. I got like one of the major. I got I got Verizon, so hidden fees galore. I guess prepaid, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it was prepaid. Yeah, uh, that's that's what straight talk is. Yeah. yeah, my parents have that. Well, my my mom did. My dad still does. But, um, it's such a short term plan. Like I'm gonna steal this prepaid cell phone. It's it's so short sighted. I don't know. Well, just keep, this is like your plan to just steal phones continuously. To... Yeah, exactly. What is he going to do once the minutes run out? He can't exactly go back to Walmart and top up. But I, I think I think the fact that he like planned to open it in the store. <laughs> That's and then, hilarious. Yeah, and those he, packages suck. Yeah, no, I. I remember the life hacks that I've read for that, like, use a can opener, and it still doesn't do anything. I found one recently I had that had little, like, you can just, like, little circles perforated in the back that you could just pop your fingers into, and then you can just kind of rip out the back, like, it was all, it was designed for you to open it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. they're not always like that. I'm sure, I'm sure someone would find a way to fuck themselves up on it. But uh, I, I think I think what really speaks to me about this is the fact that he tried to cut it open, he stabbed himself, and then uh, stole towels to try and stem the bleeding, and then you know he, he thought he could just like walk away inconspicuously from that, not even mm-hmm. like have someone question him at the edge of the store, like, "Sir, are you all right?" <laughs> he probably also is. Yeah. Well. He, you know. It's probably uh, not on the right mind, yeah. you know? Oh, yeah. A little, little <laughs> bit try of heroin, dude. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I mean, I have a job interview later. Don't you do heroin, you know, kids. The, or do. <laughs> we're, not, we're not your friggin' parents. Well, I don't know. I, to, to steal from Walmart is kind of like a... It, it's a statement in itself. Like, I'm... Uh, they already have low, low prices. What do you really want? What are you trying to prove? <laughs> A knife is kind of a weird thing to bring. I guess. It, oh, I would, can easily hide one, I would I bring, like, an X-Acto knife or X-Acto something. Knife? You know, that was, like, very sharp. What, like the artist tool? Well, it is small enough. It's basically pen It's, it's super sharp. It's super concealable. And you can just kind of razor down the side and pop that thing open. I guess, but then you'd have to go through the effort of stealing an X-Acto knife first. But you, I, I don't understand. Like, I'm sure, like, he was on a billion security cameras... When I, I went to the mall one time, and uh, we were filming a movie short for a film class, okay. and the okay, well, the, so far. the the concept of this movie was that uh, people that were that was that the mall was a corrupt like uh, super government type uh, evil. You're not too far off from that. No, it was no, it was just it was it was just silly. We call it, it was uh, Lord of the Mall. And, uh, basically, okay. basically, the mall was run by like an evil society, <laughs> and my f- my friends started working at the mall, and this and was like kind of uh, brought into that society, and so he was like different than I used to remember him. And I was like, oh, that's weird. And then, and so I, in one scene. Where I'm in Macy's and there are mannequins and I'm and I walk by the mannequin and do a double take and like squint at it, and then the camera cuts to like the mannequin looking at me like it's a security like this this camera this thing like spot, yeah, yeah. you know like looking back at me looking at it. Well, <laughs> we were just screwing around filming in Macy's and uh, you got caught. This dude appeared out of nowhere. This big dude. He was like from security and he'd been like he saw us like filming in the store. And just immediate was like, you can't film here, you have to leave, like... Ah, uh, buzzkill. But, there's like a whole... Th- my point is, there's like a whole panopticon of, uh... You know, oh, the cameras were everywhere in Macy's, and I'm, they were, I'm sure they were tracking, like, everyone. You know what I mean? Like, I'm sure they have, like, three or four people watching three or four different cameras, tracking... Yeah, well, Walmart definitely has more than Macy's. Yeah, I guess because yeah. they, they don't know what we're really doing. And we just told them, okay, can we just do this one thing, like, while you watch us, just so we can... It's gonna take one, like... And he's like, you have one take. Like, <laughs> just... <laughs> it was yeah. ridiculous, but... Laws of that in the first place. I, I guess he figured out that we weren't, like, you know, trying to... Trying to rob the store or a, something. Yeah, I... 
Yeah, that's the rules like that. I just never understand why. It's uh, not like we're trying to blow the place up or something, or like yeah. scouting for security. That's... Well, I guess they don't want you being like Michael Moore in their store. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's another thing to consider. It, it just—it's probably policy, and it's probably for like those. Yeah, no, no, but I, I, I'm not disagreeing that it's policy or anything. I'm just like, it's why is it policy to begin mm. with? But, but um. No, well, like I said, it's not like yeah. You know, uh, they have. They probably watch everyone. Yeah. Yeah, it's. It's not like you're the criminal or anything. It's. They're probably. They're definitely waiting for him to 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 rip the thing open and get the phone and start to leave, and that's when they would stop him. You know, they wanted to steal it first. Yeah, I want to make sure that uh, he was breaking the rule. You know what? I'm. The thing about this story was it beat out this other story of a kid that within three months of his first self accident shot himself in the leg a second time. Yeah, no, no, you just shot himself again. Imagine if you accidentally shot yourself in the Yeah, well imagine doing that twice. I think that's what was ridiculous about this. What did he have the gun like in his belt or something? I guess. That's uh, where else would it be, you know? Wow. Yeah. Uh, to to do it once is Can just you like... imagine like the f- like yeah, the, the, Can you uh, imagine, like, three minutes after you shot yourself in the leg for the second time, just being like, oh my god, this happened again? <laughs> like, yeah, a lot of thoughts will be racing through my head. Like, how embarrassing would that be? Yeah. Oh. I, I certainly wouldn't touch a gun it's again. Also like, yeah, it's like a significant wound. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not something you just brush off. Oh my god. It's not like scraping your it's knee ridiculous. or something. <laughs> And the reason I didn't, like, you know, bring it up in the first place is just, like, there weren't really much details about it. It's just, mm-hmm. yeah, it's just, oh, kid shot himself again within three months of the first time he shot himself. <laughs> like, what a dumbass. Yeah. He was also 16. Yeah, yeah he's fucking 16. He's trying to be a real hard ass. And you know what? It paid off. I'm sure he's got some stories to tell, but you can't even tell Bloody from the ends. article from the no names, so you can't tell if he's like yeah. trying to be thug gangster or trying to be, you know, redneck or something and you know, get some redneck credit. One of those redneck gun nuts. Ah, oh, that reminds me. I've been on a <laughs> freaking squid billies kick lately. You know that shit? Dude. You know you, Oh I, I, I no, but Squid Billies, though. Come on, Squid Billies. Really? I haven't seen it in, in quite some time. I was very excited when it was going to come out, and then they canceled it or something. Yeah. Like, right away. I remember yeah. when it was first coming out. Um, I like, wasn't... It was going to be this show. That. I think they had, like, a pilot that they showed, and then that was it for the longest time. And then finally, it became a show. Huh. All right. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's like, one of my guilty pleasure shows. Like, it's not, like, smart humor or anything, like Rick and Morty or, like, deep, like, friggin' Bojack Horseman. It's just, it's, it's dumb. It's about squids and hillbillies. Yeah, so. it's a little crude, but, like... Yeah, it works. It's funny. You're not Some looking, of the things are so... Fu- you're not looking for Emmy. I just, though. I love, uh, what's his name? The, the corporation owner? What's his... Oh, uh, Dan something? Dan Halen. Dan Halen. Dan Halen. A playoff Van Halen. Yeah. It's a favorite character, honestly. His whole shape and like the things he <laughs> says. Shape. He's like a talking <laughs> like yeah. butt rug hair. <laughs> it is now time for corn times. Maze days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just stick with the corn times. So says some other dumb shit like Well, it's not like I invented fire. He's just so fucking maniacal and yet. <laughs> I can't, I can't take him seriously any other time. He's like the evil incarnate. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, it's, it, they got a lot of good characters on that show. So, but it, 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 like I said, you're not looking for intellectual stimulation from that. You're just, you're just there because it's one of those dumb stoner, uh, adult swim shows. So that's that's where I'm getting my fix now. <laughs> Nine seasons on Hulu. I think I'm up to like season seven. I only really watch it when it's I'm craziness. working home from work. I feel, I feel like uh, there's a certain divide in life with people who mm-hmm. will no, 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 who yeah. can like understand like a la carte TV watching. You know what I mean? I guess. And Adult Swim is like my my parents. I don't think uh, Adult Swim is full of that kind of stuff. It's it's been branded as mostly stoner humor, but yeah, it's got some. It, it, 
I was going to say it's been getting some good stuff, but Rick and Morty basically is like sure. a sure. shining example there. Uh, but it's been mostly like Tim and Eric, it's been Aqua Teen Hunger Force, it's been C-Lab 2021. Uh, I, f- I feel like Netflix is good, but it could just be more extensive. Like, there's so many... Like I, I think if people are saying, oh, Netflix got this, like, yeah. I don't know. It just seems to me like, why didn't it just have it? Like, why doesn't it just have everything? If it's for, mo- if it's you know. Well, I I I I always assume like you know it's it's Hulu for TV, Netflix for movies, and even then like Netflix, uh, it's got mm-hmm. like its original series. Uh, but you, you're paying you're paying for like the convenience of having semi live TV when it comes to Hulu Plus. Like it's supposed to have updated. Uh, shows like the day after it's supposed to be ready if you just miss the premiere or something <laughs> so kind of functions as like the kind of functions as like your DVR I guess but not really whereas Netflix I don't know mm-hmm. could do better with like a better movie selection but I mean you can there's there's such a combination of ways you can get uh, different content now oh yeah you, know, you yeah. can get that content and like like I think in the past like they just can't Im- no, I don't really watch a lot. I just yeah. No, well, some people need to stay plugged in. Like uh, my mm-hmm. my fiance like can't live without her cable connection. But I feel like I could just live without and just go with Hulu okay. and Netflix. Yeah, I mean, there's I I think there's like I there's been some helpful magazine articles where they kind of yeah where you're like cutting the cord make a spreadsheet and just show like oh, the, oh, right, these right. are the shows that are on or these are the, the most optimal networks spread. or shows or like kind of things that are available on each like on a Roku box on a oh yeah those those on T- TiVo on Hulu on this on that and like you can just see yeah you, you get like the magic combination going but I think I think until then like we're still pretty much dependent on the cable companies like Hulu is like is owned by uh, a cable company so it's very I feel like it will eventually die out but not right away yeah and you know what there are there are some there are some events and some things uh, that still require you to have a cable connection well segueing mm-hmm. into the next thing of uh, the debate that we weren't going to talk about or save until the end I, I forget what <laughs> happened um, so, turns out, this this is not about the debate itself, but rather about Bernie Sanders, my personal favorite. <laughs> um, yeah, he live-tweeted the debate, and he got bored, and <laughs> stopped, stopped live-tweeting, like, uh, a half an hour before the thing, and basically, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, he won, it's, you know? I feel like it's easy to see it both ways, like... I could see how it's like. Well, yeah. he's. Uh, God, explain yourself here. He's not like to- totally like. Oh my God, it's the debate. Like some people, I'm sure, are like running around like, Oh my God, it's the debate. It's the debate, and like we get guilty as charged, man. And he's. Yeah, he's he's just kind of like <laughs> criticizing the whole damn thing. And for him to be like, okay, like I understand. I feel like he's saying I understand the value in a de- in a debate, but like this is excessive to me now, and yeah, he, it's not productive maybe. And like so, people could say like, okay, he's a decisive person, and like he's not afraid to show like you know he he has character versus like some other people will say, you know, he should really take this seriously and not just be like you know what. The, is he just going to be like, eh, like, now that you've elected me, like, this problem is boring to me now. It's been going on too long, I'm just going to do this or something, or, you know? Yeah, I guess, I guess. But, uh, when it comes to, when it comes to Bernie Sanders in the debate, he was really critical about all of that, like, shit. <laughs> he seriously was, like, calling them out, like, the next day basically being like, oh, well, they didn't talk about income inequality. They didn't talk about this. They didn't talk about that. And he's right, honestly. The whole thing just basically devolved into name-calling and personal attacks, and it's entertainment politics at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. This is who we want (laughs) in for the Republican nominee. And, you know, I'm not going to get ridiculously political or anything. I'm not going to shove my idea down people's throats about oh who God. should or shouldn't be the candidate, but let's just get involved. That's all I really have to say about that. And, uh, you know what? 
this is the part of the program where I think we need to sign off. And I say that because uh. I found out that my computer basically stopped recording. So I'm doing this, like, in retrospect. I'm doing this in uh, the future, after we recorded everything, and yeah, we'll, we'll, just say, we'll just say I did an okay job filling in the cracks. So uh, this is Dean, that was Mike, and we are signing off. So see you next week, everybody. Bye.